Jean. I made a chronal accelerator. I'm sure I can do this. <clears throat> to all agents of all to all agents of Overwatch. That's not right. To the former agents of Overwatch. This is Winston. <laughs> Obviously. <clears throat> 30 years ago, the Omnics declared war. The nations of the world had no answer until they called upon a small group of heroes. Overwatch was created to rescue humanity from the Omnic crisis. We became the greatest champions of peace and progress mankind has ever seen. You were chosen because you had powers and abilities that made you... You joined because you... People decided they were better off without us. They even called us criminals. They tore our family apart. But look around! Someone has to do something! We have to do something! We can make a difference again. The world needs us now, more than ever. Hey guys, so uh, after that intro of, of Overwatch, um, this is just going to be basically be me uh, talking over the gameplay. Uh, I have about three matches here, and one of them is just a scrimmage, and two of them is actually a match. So Overwatch is a team-based uh, competitive uh, game as well. It does have a competitive feat feature, uh, but mostly it's a, uh, it's a team-based game where you basically have tanks, healers, DPS, and support. I guess that falls underneath the healers. Um, uh, launched in 2016, 15, I want to say. Uh, it's been a few years. Um, the game's had a tremendous growth uh, as a decent community, I want to say. Um, there's a lot of salty people in this community. There's a lot of people that are compelled to it. There's a lot of people watching the esports. E that's the competitive side. But uh, overall, this game is pretty good. It's Blizzard's. It's the newest Blizzard IP, I think, uh, since I want to say it's since Diablo, but I can't even be sure about that. I don't even know. I didn't even look at my history on this. Um, but you see, there season 16 is starting to play. We got Game Browser, which is just basically custom games. Uh, we got Arcade, which is basically like fun game modes, like low gravity. Uh, Free for all and all that, but uh, our first skirmish, uh, skirmish pretty much is just us waiting in a in a lobby to join a game. So you get to play around with some of the heroes. I play as Hanzo here just so I can, you know, choose someone to play around as. That's not Diva, Soldier, Mercy, Genji, or not Genji, uh, Junkrat, or anybody. So I'm like, hello. Um, so I'll go around, uh, double tapping X. Well, mid fight will allow you to boost forward like I do here. You can climb, boost after that. It's great. Uh, his R1, you can see, is a vision arrow, which you can see is sinking out right now. Um, and what that does is just averts you of like it's like a mini vision pulse, so it's kind of pretty good. So you can see how it has the radius there, shows you where enemies are, and there's clearly no enemies there. Um, something just here, chilling out, you know, shooting some arrows. You can hold it to charge. The charge shot is the most lethal one. And uh, if you're trying to get it to a quick battle, you, you can just will spray it like I do here in a second. Uh, yeah. Which doesn't really do too much damage because, of course, it's not charged all the way like I am doing now. That charge shot is takes a pretty much a good amount of ha health, almost an ammo. And I try to do my uh, my uh, safe secret eye shot there. You know, so I don't know if I use these. Um, the scattle arrow it used to be the uh, not scattle, but I guess when I call it, uh, I don't know what exactly you would call it. But this is my favorite bit right here. I say I'm with the tracer. I try to be friend friendly. Uh, of course she's not, and then this is the best bit right here. <laughs> she kind of looks over my body like, huh? All right. Well, shit. 
So I'm like, okay, I'll go back at it again. Uh, I think this time I actually I show uh, my clip here. So this is gonna end. Now we're gonna transition to the new clip. So we're, now we're playing the defense on King King's Row. We've left a scrimmage, joined the scrimmage, we left a scrimmage. I edited all that out and we ended up just back at King King's Row. Now I don't know what happened here. We ended up being on defend and then all of a sudden we were on attack. So I'm like, okay, I guess I gotta choose someone. Uh, I don't really know who I was going to choose. I play around a somber for a fair bit, so I changed around her skin. That's Rhyme. It's part of her Christmas skin. I believe it was from last year. Uh, the Brides is Halloween from last year as well. Inferno, I like because it is orange and uh, black, like I see there for a split second. And then, yeah, just playing around with some of the skins. Uh, Shiver for Reaper is pretty great. Uh, Reaper has pretty much uh, good, good skins. Uh, that's El Blanco. Uh, and then I'm going through, trying to figure out if I want to play as a tank, a DPS. You can see here, so the tanks are on the left. Uh, the damage is on in the middle. That's the DPS. And on the far right is the healers. Now, this is one of my favorite hero, healers to play in the game. It's Mercy. I do this pretty sick emo. Uh, this is her Valkyrie skin. I do like the Valkyrie because of the uh, mythological aspects of it all. I uh, do have a clap email, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Got you. Love. Love. Oh, okay, you need here. Sorry, I'm just not talking over this bit because there's not really too much to talk about. So uh, playing healer, I actually almost die here like an idiot. I'm like, oh god, I don't want to die here, so I actually run back into the spawner so I won't get damaged. Um, healer, healers in this game are pretty uh, offensive. You can be uh, attack as well for DPS if you're good enough. Like Mercy does have her uh, uh, does have her little sorry her little gun. I was just looking at the gameplay of me being attacked by the Genji who wouldn't leave me alone. You're gonna see me fail a few times here as Mercy. This is not the greatest Mercy gameplay I've ever gotten, but I'm just going with what I got. Um, Sombra is making this mistake here now and actually trying to head up towards the point. She doesn't maybe hold it for very long. Um, I guess she's trying to go invisible to not be a uh, attack, but going invisible as Sombra, getting on the point doesn't actually count towards the objective uh, clock in. You can see how there's A, you see like the little blue bars going around. That's what that means, like your clocked objective cat capture limit. And then this is when I try to think I can be smart and actually help out with the D.Va. Now, I don't know what happened here. I was pretty much dead either way. I was being sniped, so I'm like, I'm running around trying to get hit. And uh, I don't know what I did here. It was just so bad, but me and the D.Va were trying to hide in the corner. And of course, we both die like idiots because I have no idea what the hell we were thinking. May's requiring for healing, though you got healing right there, you dumb bitch. But, you know. It is what it is. Um, and I was like, okay, Genji, you're gonna get my healing. I know, whatever, right? I'm not like one of those players that gets mad over healing. It's like, I'll heal you, I'll damage you. Then I get healed from, I believe it's the Zenyatta. I can't be sure, I'm pretty sure it's the Zenyatta. Then Genji's going over there, I'm like, okay, you've made a mistake, you're on here. And then I try to come here and try to see if it's Junkrat. Uh, Genji dies. I res the Mei, which is probably a inverse mistake if I can make here. The Junkrat dies in a few seconds. I used my ult because, you know, fuck it, I just didn't know what I was doing. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not dying by that, so I'll try to run over to Mei. Uh, try to heal her. Junkrat dies. So I try to come back in and get him. I don't even know where he died at, so I'm flying around. I get hit by the lava, even though I'm flying. And I think I die possibly right here to the Moira. Because uh, her range for her... Um, for her damaging spread, I don't want to call it. It's pretty great, but then I was like, okay, I'm gonna show you Moira. Now, the thing with Moira is that her healing is, um, like, the, her mapping is kind of messed up. So you can see how I just used her, uh, use, use my ability to throw uh, either a healing orb or a damage, damaging her orb. But the funny thing is the mapping with the buttons in her character layout is that once you, like, use the ability, you see how the, uh, the healing is on the left and the damage, damaging is on the right. But the mapping of the buttons is kind of back backwards, so to use her healing, which is on the left, you gotta press R2 and use her damage dungeon on the left. Or uh, no, her damaging that's on the. No, sorry. The healing that's on her left, you gotta use the right uh, R2 button. And for damaging, you gotta use the left L2 button, which is Curry on the right hand. And her mapping is just backwards, I know, it's hard to explain. 
But I throw in a last effort. I'm still getting damage, and I'm like, I'm hoping that I kill someone. Now, I don't know what Mora or Sombra's here doing. She's kind of like on her own mission, going invisible. I must reflect upon this. My must... ultimate ability is charged. And my ultimate's at 76. So I'm like, okay, I'll throw out a healing to see if I hit anybody. I do heal the, uh, the Brigitte, or Bridget. I would call her Bridget, but her name is Brigitte. Uh, I hear everything's going off right there. Genji, I don't know what your plan was there, so I'm like, okay, screw it. I threw my damaging orb out, thinking I would hit the Gen. Genji, I didn't. And I single out, I'm gonna use my ultimate, and I try to go in there trying to be a hero. Um, this is probably the worst ultimate use I've ever had. I don't know how to pro proper use uh, Marwa's emote or uh, ultimate. So I just used it. I tried to take out the turret, which I'm like, okay, this is not helping, so I basically just go away. Um, and then, of course, I come back thinking I can be the greatest person ever. And of course, it does to go away, but I die like five seconds later. Um, just Bastion. Bastion's playing D defense like he should be. Uh, now here's another hero I try to play as. These guys don't maybe get to see too much of. It has Genji or uh, Zenyatta. Zenyatta is pretty much like if you use all these care characters are good in their own right if you know how to use them. But if you really know how to use Zenyatta, he could be a good DPS and a good healer at the same time. Like you could charge up your shot here, which I actually end up being an idiot because Genji deflected it and I charged it up all the way and came back at me. Now our Bastion here, now I was actually kind of thinking about leaving this match earlier because we knew we were going to lose, like I did here, but I'm like, screw it, and then it's like, oh, we actually did lose, so I just left. Um, actually, I didn't check to see if these load times were edited out. I guess I can edit it out later. Or I guess I could take this time to talk. I don't know, probably not. Um... Changing maps. The worst thing about Overwatch is waiting times. I'm going to edit this of me singing. Can he paint with a white on top? Man, I'm posing a who I was. Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop. Let's price my whips and press my watch. All right. So we're now we're playing on Full Sky Industries. Um, it's actually another skirmish, and I actually end up playing around as uh, as a uh, sorry uh, as a Voodoo maker. This game's pretty neat. Uh, so I'm like, okay, so it is a skirmish, and I actually loaded it in. Just gotta try to get a feel for her because I don't replay really her all too much. And the Ash character just got uh released I guess a few months ago, a month or two ago, three months maybe. I tried to shoot but I actually ended up shooting her dynamite in my face and I died and she triggers my uh, my venom trap. And I would have laughed my ass off if I would have killed her but I, I didn't. I switched to my favorite character of all in this game his name is Soldier76. Pretty, he's a great DTPS he uh, hero. Uh, I actually ended up killing him and then you have your own personal health that you can throw down. And kind of showed that Ash that, you know, not to be messed with. And I'm going around here just running, you know, this it's just scrimmage, so I'm just messing around. I think this is the enemy for some weird reason, but it's just a door. I don't know why I went over to it. I was like, okay, whatever, and just went back to it. Um, I was looking to see who's on the enemy team. There's a Genji here. I was like, great, hello. And I uh, did a heroic thing. Genji dies. And then I find a match. Uh, we, now we don't play on Vosky Industries, uh, Watch Point Gibraltar, sorry. Even though it says the map name right there, it's just called a Vosky because it is the map we just played. Uh, I actually end up playing here now as, um, I think it's Soldier again, yeah. And the spray here is broken because I didn't see it go off, and apparently it did, so I had to get closer to the wall, and there it is. I'm running around, I don't think we stay in this match for very long, I don't even get outside, no, see? Done. Um, and then I got clicked because there was not enough players, so it's re reinstating players to join. So I'm waiting, I'm like, woo, woo, and I'm like, come on, I just want to play a game, I just want to get some quick, good old gameplay here for you guys, but I guess that's not going to happen. Um, so I'm like, doo doo doo. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll probably just, you know, come in rent some teammates, you know, you get a shock collar, you are going to get a good sportsmanship. Sorry, a good teammate, and I think I get sportsmanship there. 
Okay, we're back to Frisky Industries. Oh boy, yeah, this is this is kind of like the oddest uh, map switching I've ever seen. And we're back to it on on uh, skirmishing. Hello. Soldiers never die. And they don't fade away. Yeah, I don't know why I said that, but I don't Now we're playing uh Junker Town. I believe we're playing on defense. I joined partly through. I must say this is the worst team comp I've ever seen. Yeah? I'm doing recording. Uh, you can okay. I think right here I try to play as a uh, diva. Actually, don't end up being too bad as diva. I've had better games as diva to be honest, but this one is just kind of bad uh, and horrible. God forsaken horrible teammates. I don't know how people can ever be this bad. And immediately I got killed here because I got three people going up my ass trying to kill me. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, so I ended up just using the, the portal there. Not too much is ha happening because I'm just mess messing around. Because I already know they got the first point. I'm just waiting for it to activate. I think I already activated it. Now right here, I don't, can't remember if I just missed myself dying because I wasn't paying attention. I don't think I've died yet. But uh, I jump in here trying to think I'm being smart, but I end up being trapped, and I'm like, well, of course. And then next thing you know, there's everybody's coming at me to lose. And I'm like, oh, I'm trapped. Like, I'm dead pretty much, right? So, boop, there goes my health. And I die to 18 people trying to kill me right up there, you know, because nobody knows how to leave me alone uh, in the game. So, you know, it's uh, stupid. So, uh, and then I try to go back at it again, you know. My ultimate's already at 662%. percent uh, because they up the archer the they up the ult charge a bit. Good god, try up ult, up ult, up ult. Oh, that's bad. And then I try to play something smart. Now I know I shouldn't attack uh, Zarya with her bubble up. Uh, Reaper here tries to do his death blossom and he actually gets to Brigitte and Zenyatta, both my healers. And I'm like, well I'm dead, you know, I might as well try, right? Actually I'm here dying because you know once again, I have four people up my ass trying to kill me when there shouldn't be, but, you know, they're a bunch of specialty people. Uh, assholes. Motherfucker piece of shit. But, you know, <laughs> motherfucking piece of shit. But, you know, it's, it's just me being being salty. I It was great that I don't put my mic gameplay into this. I actually record my videos after this and share factory. And uh, I think what happens here is I try to block some of the shots there for the uh, for, sorry, for the, for the Zenyatta. Now I actually have my ult here and I thought I would be smart and actually get like six people. I got two. I got the Junkrat and the healer so that's my first double. I actually think I get two so I get one more after this. And I try because if you use your, if you boost and you rock it and you shoot your uh, guns at people, they actually take a lot of damage and you get a lot of ult charge. Now that time it wasn't too good. Now I tried to take on the Moira. Now I don't know what happened to the Moira. Oh, she got killed by the Junkrat and the Zenyatta. Now I think, oh, they're up here. Nope, yeah, they're up here. Actually, I killed the Junkrat by accident. And I'm like, well, okay, I'm not doing that. So I jumped down immediately. Now I thought I'd be smart because I didn't think she would follow me. I tried to do Zarya from behind and try to run away. But she actually does follow me. And I thought this is great because I can use teleport to get away. I'm trying to figure out where I am. Okay, we're, I'm going behind me. And I'm here trying to hide. And I'm still shooting at them. There's another teleporter. I got a few shots, like one or two, at the at the Brigitte again. And I'm still shooting at her to get my ult charge. Now, the thing I hate about D.Va, and like, I don't want to say hate, but it's like my small one crit critiqued. And I don't know if it's just them being like, hey, you can't be this OP. But it's the fact that you can take damage while getting back into your mech, and the damage you take from getting back into your mech is actually shown by me actual mech damage. If that makes any sense, but I actually get hit with like five ults right here, which is pretty fucking stupid. Uh, pretty stupid. Like, it, they just wasted all their ults, so I guess that was their push. And it wasn't too bad of a push, but now 
that they've used their ults and my team hasn't really used our ults. Uh, it'd be great for us to defend. Now I keep on... <laughs> the funny, the best thing about this map I like, because it is Junkrat and it is all of his gold storage, you kind of swing around all the gold like you do with Scrooge Duck from DuckTales. Oh god, that was an old reference. Now the Reaper... I don't know what his plan was here. My ultimate size 74, so I'm like, I figured if I'm trying to get a few more ult charge charges in, um, that'd be great. Reaper actually dies here to me. Me and Junkrat. And this is where I get play. I don't know how, how that happened. This went up in the air and poop. Now you may think that, oh, we got this, you know, we win, you know. But no, it's three minutes left, so I wasn't really paid too, too much time. And I don't know what happened here, but I died again. You know, I'm just shooting, trying to... I got stuck. Grab health. And I run away, I'm like, okay. I'm just try to go around the other way. Lucio wants us to group up, which I do. And I go back thinking, they're gonna follow me. And sure enough, when I go back, there's 18 of them. I'm not saying 18, I'm not saying there's a big fucking number of them shot in at me. So I group up here, group up, everybody, come on! But, you know... I'm dead either way, I was either dead to the drunk web wheel or to the other people. And I don't know what happened there, because I was actually getting into my mech, and they managed to kill me before I was able to call my mech back in in time, and I don't, that was a whole, I don't even know what happened. And I'm shooting the bolts and stuff to make sure to see if they don't open, I know they don't. So soon for fun. Reaper, I don't know what your plan there was. Now this is me, just so like trying to do my last ditch effort to kind of protect the point. I can kind of push people around. Uh, I didn't, I forgot the Junkrat was right behind me. I actually end up killing the Junkrat, I believe, or does he kill me? I actually, yeah, I actually get away with 20 health with my mech. And I'm like, I need healing, please, for the love of God, someone please can heal me. And, uh, you know, I got a few fangs. So Overwatch is a pretty much fun game, now I try to get the push on people by like scaring them with my mini rockets and there was like nothing in my way. Overwatch is a f I want to say free, it wasn't free, it's not free. Uh, Overwatch is pretty much a free, uh, fun game to play. It's a fun game to play uh, with your friends most, most of the time. The, the community is okay, most of it's pretty salty. A lot of memes here. Now, Reaper, a uh, single ult, ult meme, which is the saltiest thing you can ever do. Uh, no, sorry, not salt, saltiest, but it's probably like one of the worst things you can do. Now, a six signal, I'm gonna use my ult. I'm gonna try to figure out where I am. I try to boost, boost it, and I don't think I get there in time. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? And I think that's going to end it for uh, this gameplay. Now it's just me getting play, play the game. So yeah, Overwatch, I would actually rate Overwatch on a scale from uh, from like 0 to 10. Probably, it's, it's, a, it's a fun game. Uh, for you to play leisurely. Uh, it's fun, fun to play with friends, decent community. Just bury in your leg. The little times are hit or hit or miss. Based on the yeah. luck, I guess. And uh, yeah, Overwatch gets a 8 out of 10. And I would highly recommend if you haven't checked it out, check it out. And uh, I've been the Crazy Gamer. And this is the end of my audio recording. <laughs>